Hello guys, Brian back from The Shave. Hope you guys are having a good week so far. I got an amazing shave I'm gonna be doing tonight. Uh, got about two and a half days worth of growth on my face. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but yes, I do grow hair on my face for many of you guys asking out there. So, it's gonna be a nice shave. I'm gonna be using tonight uh, the soap I got back in, Jan in July from Patrick's Pharmacy. Picked it up there when I was there. It's called What the Puck Blue Barber Shop by uh, Razor Rock. And this is a triple milled soap, meaning it's a hard soap, so you have to load your brush for a while on this, on this puck to get this thing loaded up on your brush properly. But man, it smells amazing. This is will be like the their take on the discontinued Blue Floyd scent, which is an aftershaves barbershop type scent. So I'm going to be using this, I'm going to be using my uh, Phoenix Artisan Acumen's uh, Prismatic Razor. This is like a nice, I would say medium aggressive razor. It's got like a larger blade gap so you have a little more aggression. But look at the, look at the, ta look at the top cap, look how beautiful that is. Very nice chrome on here. Just a nice, just a nice razor to hold. It's a little short handle, but it has a nice weight on it. And I'm going to be using a blade I haven't used before. This is my first time using this blade, so I'm going to be using a Persona Platinum blade. And this is supposed to be made in Israel, so I think these are similar to the red Personas. If anybody can tell me below or make a comment if these are the same blades, let me know because I love the red Personas and I hope these shave just like these blades, like, the, like those blades. So I'm we'll be using that. I'll we'll be using my haircut and a shave, a uh, synthetic brush with a tuxedo knot. It's got the barbershop pole handle. So guys, let me go ahead and wash my face and soap up. Actually load up on this thing for a while, and I'll be right back. All right guys, back for my first pass. I use a little bit of the bloom water on my face for a pre-shave, so. So I blew my soap and I used my brush to Load it up for about about 40 seconds. Like I said, this is a triple mate, triple milled soap, so it's a little bit harder to load up than than your soft soaps are. But man, look at that lather right off the bat. Very nice lather. So I hope everybody's having a good week so far. I've had like a long week. So nice to for the weekend to finally be here. So my daughter's been sick this whole week, so she's been out of school. So it's been a crazy week so far. Wow, this soap is very, very nice. Look at that lather. And I love the scent. It's like a clean, very clean barbershop type scent. Look at that leather, man. It just pops right off the brush. Excellent leather. So hoping the shaves will be good. Wow, look at that. Nice. All right. Let me go ahead and clear the runways. As Geo Fat Boy always says. which I'm a big fan, I like watching his videos. I started watching his videos when I got into wet shaving, so he's a big inspiration and also, I'm just a fan of him also. All right, so let's go ahead and start doing the uh, first pass of the Prismatic. And right off the bat, you can hear the, I can hear the feedback loud and clear. I'm sure you guys can hear that too.
This was my first time using this blade, this Persona Platinum blade. I heard some people say it was similar to the red Personas made in Israel. And I believe this blade is made, is made in Israel, Israel also. So it has to be, I'm thinking it has to be almost the same. Wow, that's a nice, nice pass on that side. I can tell you one thing, this razor is noisy. I can feel that, I can definitely hear the feedback echoing in the bathroom here. I'm sure you guys can hear it on the camera. And this is a, this is an aggressive razor. I bought it thinking it was a mild razor, but after a couple of uses, I was definitely wrong. At least my opinion is a little bit more aggressive than normal than other razors are. Man, I love the scent on this soap. Very clean, nice smell. I believe, I was reading the scent notes, I believe it's lavender, bergamot, lemon, and baby powder. So it's that combination that makes this unique scent. But I love the scent. It's probably about a six or seven right now. After you after you bloom it and after you after you load on your brush, probably out of the when you open the the container, it's probably about a five, maybe four. Not quite as um, strong as when you start blooming it up. All right, guys, that was a very nice first pass. Let me go ahead and rinse, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, back for my second pass here. My second face lathering. So I took a nice long hot shower before I started shaving. Because I knew it would be a good shave. I mean my face was... My growth was like two and a half days which is a lot for me since I shave every day so I skipped a day. Man, this soap smells really good. So I bought this soap from Pastor's Pharmacy um, when I was up there in July. I bought a lot of stuff from them up there on my visit. And I bought this set as an afterthought, so I was on the way out of, this, out of Pastor's. I saw it, I knew I wanted it, but... So I went ahead and grabbed it. Pretty inexpensive set. The soap, I want to say the soap was six bucks. And that's a shave is maybe a little bit over 10, so under $20 for the whole set, so that's the reason why I grabbed it also, was because it was so inexpensive. But wow, what a great performance so far. So far I'm impressed with the uh, lather, the cushion, and slickness. The slickness was really Impressive on that, on that first pass. Well, look at that lather. Wow, it was just like a. It's about almost an inch thick. Look at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get, go across the grain with this prismatic razor. So I love Razor Rock soaps because they're great value. I mean they're pretty inexpensive so you can get a pretty good deal on a, on a whole set on, a, on several of them when you go on their website and buy their soaps. I'm sure that 
I bought this for six dollars at Pastor's Pharmacy, but I'm sure you can probably get the same price, if not cheaper, on on their website, on Italian Barber's website. But incredible value. I love their aftershaves. Nice, nice second pass there. Let me go on this side here. Yeah, so their soaps are very underrated. Razor Rock. I like their Triple X. I had that. That was my one of my first soaps I ever bought from Italian Barber. The Razor Rock line, the uh, Triple X. I love that scent. Kind of like a soft scent, soft, clean scent, just like this one is. The Blue Barber Shop. I believe they made three types of soap in this What the Puck line. So I think they have a lime and a lemon. I'm sorry, not lemon, orange. So they have a two other scents for that line. And just by the performance alone on this soap, on this first one, I wouldn't mind getting the other two. For my shave then. I just love this scent. Man, it smells good. Man, I wish you guys could smell that. It smells very nice. I wish I could have purchased the uh, Blue Floyd when it was available. But I was a new wet shaver when it was popular. And unfortunately, they discontinued it. So I can't get it anymore. So I wish we would bring that stuff back. Since it's, since it's very popular. But Razor Rock's version is very nice. I can't compare the two because I never tried the, never smelled the original one, but this Blue Barber Shop is very nice. All right, guys, let me go ahead and rinse my face and I'll be right back. All right, guys, back my final pass, my final face lather in here. Those first two passes were excellent, excellent passes. So I can stop now if I wanted to, because my face is smooth, but I'm just gonna do another third pass and just clean it up a little bit. I forgot to mention the blade is really, really smooth blade. It is, it is, it is pretty, pretty close to the uh, Red Persona, in my opinion. Nice, smooth, nice, sharp blade. And I have plenty of soap left on this brush. So that was a nice, nice brush loading up I did earlier. Probably gonna go on maybe 30 seconds, not quite as long as I thought I needed to do on the triple milled soap, but nevertheless, very, plenty of soap left. Plenty of lather left. Plenty of scent left too. Wow, it smells. I keep saying it smells so good. It does smell good. I mean, the whole bathroom smells like blue barbershop. Right. So I think this is one of my. This is probably one of my favorite purchases from Pastor's Pharmacy. I'm glad they carried this soap because I was looking to get it anyway, so. All right, nice, 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 nice pass against the grain. This razor is very efficient. Do this side right here. That was a nice pass on the other side. 
So I'm using the weight on this razor. I'm not even, I'm not even pushing it at all because I know how aggressive this razor is. So. Now I was thinking I bought this because I thought it was mild. I mean, I really bought it because the way it looks. It's so unique. It's got the uh, scalloped top cap, so. It's a pretty nice razor to look at. I want to say you can still get it from the website, the PAA website. I'm sure Douglas still makes this razor. Hopefully he does. But this is a pretty decent razor. So what I'll do is I'll leave the links for the soap set, what the puck, and also this razor below so you guys can take a look at that. Hopefully they're making this razor still. I know Dennis is always coming out with new razors, new different takes on old, old forgotten razors from the past. And I, I like the way his injector looks. His recent razor that he released. It's, it's just like the uh, original injector, so kind of intrigued about trying that out. Well, I still hear that feedback. All right, guys, that's the last final pass. Let me go ahead and wash my face, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back, and Definitely gonna have to put this on after my shave. The uh, what the shave puck blue barber shop after shave. And I and you can see the price in there. It was like ten dollars for this. So ten bucks for that and five ninety nine for this puck right here. That's a great deal. Very, very uh value like like I said, value shave products here. And this man, this smells really good. Oh man. It smells nice. It's kind of like a clean scent. It's probably a little bit, definitely stronger than the soap. I mean, you can smell that, guys, but it smells really good. But I like, I like this. I like the bottles. Up, bottles are nice. Even though it's a ten dollar uh, aftershave, they still have the restrictor plate on there. Restrictor um, cap. I'm sorry, not plate. That's not. That's NASCAR. This is <laughs> shaving. So restrictor cap. So go ahead and use that. Get a little bit of my face here. Smells good. It's almost like a cologne, almost. Almost like a cologne. And I smell, feels a little tingly, so there's got to be some menthol in this. I'll try to read this and see if there's any menthol in this. Hmm. I don't see any menthol in, it, in the ingredients, but nice. Nice cooling aftershave. So guys, I used that, including this, with the Puck Blue Rubber Shop by uh, Razor Rock. Great soap, excellent value. Like I said, you can get this for six bucks from past stores or maybe even cheaper on the Italian Barber website. But there's, I know there's two other ones they make, which is the uh, lime and the orange, which I wanna definitely try. But man, these really smell, this one smells really good. I use the uh, Phoenix Artisan Acuchumens, um Prismatic Razor. Very nice razor, very nice, pretty razor to look at. The only thing I don't like about the, this razor shaves great. Don't get me wrong, it shaves very nice. The only thing I don't, I didn't like about, there's only one thing I don't like about it was just the uh, blade kind of sticks out on both sides, kind of, sort of sticks that kind of way out a little bit. But other than that, it's fine, it's a fine razor. And I would, actually compare this to the Tampa Shave Company uh, chrome razor they just came out with. I'm not sure the name of it, but they have a razor just similar to this. 
the top cap is very similar to the just the uh, not the scallop but just the top cap and the bottom bottom cap bottom plate are, are very similar to that razor very similar shave I don't have that razor anymore but I had that razor for a little while I borrowed it from a friend and it shaves very similar to this very efficient shaver so nice razor I used very impressed with this blade Persona Platinum very nice blade I would say this is pretty close to the red Personas very nice smoothness to it very very sharp not as quite as sharp as a feather but pretty sharp enough for a nice shave I mean, I mowed down like two and a half days of growth on my face without any problems, so no nicks, so nice smooth shave. And I used one of my favorite brushes, which is the shave, the haircut and a shave uh, synthetic tuxedo knot barbershop pole handle. Got this from Amazon. I think, you can, I think they only sell it on Amazon, so I'm not sure if they actually have a website, haircut and a shave, but I know they're coming out with different new brushes and stuff like that, so definitely check them out. Very good deal on their brushes here. And, well, that's it, folks. Guys, thanks for watching. And I hope you guys have a good weekend. And I will see you guys next time.